Who are they serving? The great trinity. Me, myself, and I. It's what I want, what I will do, when I want to do it. This is totally wrong. How many of these people would you hire? Which one of the people who have this kind of heart would you hire in your business? What happens if any one of these type of people are your representatives in government? You see the problem? All right. So on this side, what is it? So let me explain about why they're so important, what an impact they had on Rome. Because Roman soldiers and the ministers could not integrate with the Eastern conquered people. Every time Rome would conquer them and they'd go in there, the people would throw them out. And they wouldn't mind dying to throw them out. That's how intense it was. The Romans could not understand their commitment. Don't you understand? We control you. We can kill you. Then they'd say, kill us. And they were like, what? <laughs> they just wouldn't obey. They only served who? God. And the, the Romans were like, ah. and they would constantly piss up, piss out all the Eastern culture off. Always. Oh, uh, I can understand. I used, my first time in Asia, I just pissed everybody off. You can't help it. You insult, you demeanor, you cut down, you, I mean, you just do it without even thinking about it. Just being ourselves. So when these started to become integrated into Rome, they were like, they said what they said they're going to do, they do. And when they're going to do something, they do it with all their heart. And they don't stop. They're totally committed. So how fast do you think these things, these guys roll, rose up in authority? Everybody says, I want that person under me. That way everything is cool. Now, when we deal with these people like, like Timaeus or like um, Tim, or Timaeus and uh, Joseph Arimathea or like Cornelius in chapter 10 of Acts, you've got to understand this. All right? So... Because Roman soldiers could not integrate into the Eastern conquered people. The people would revolt. People would rather die than be under Rome's authority, which kind of ruined commerce. They couldn't get this, no one to respond. The Jews wouldn't talk to them. They would talk to the Jews. The Jews would just look away. They just wouldn't listen. They had to hire what? Who'd they have to talk to the Jews? Talk to the Romans. What would they call them? Publicans. Not Republicans. Publicans, <laughs> right? These are people that were hired to talk to the Romans. They would not speak. They would not even share the same air with them. Zacchaeus. Huh? Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus was a, a publican. That he was a, the one who worked for Rome and communicated to the Jews. The Jews would have nothing to do with him. Not only that, Syria had the same problem. Anatolia had the same problem. It wasn't just Israel. It was all over the Eastern culture. They had to have people that would be hired to do that. And Josephus was one. If you read the accounts of Josephus, he was hired, and he was a publican, to explain the Jewish cultures and stuff to the Romans, who didn't understand what was going on. And no matter, they opened their mouths, and they would freaking piss people off. Then Pompey wanted to see what was in the temple, so he just walks in and looks around. Totally desecrated it. <laughs> Everything they did, what they, and they, what was their favorite food? Pork. What did the Eastern culture say? Don't eat? Pork. Pork. And they would eat it in front of the Eastern people. And people were like, ah. You understand? They were, they wouldn't cook their food completely. And so a lot of them had parasites. And the parasites got in their body. In fact, Herod died. And as you were talking to him, you could see the worms crawling up his skin. In bad shape. But anyway, it was a parasite that eats under your skin and into your muscles and stuff. He was in bad shape. But anyway, the Eastern culture would not tolerate that. Romans didn't wash that much. They bathed, yeah. But like your clothes, how did you clean your clothes? You, you soaked it in urine. 
All your tolgas were all soaked in urine and then taken out and dried. And that's what people wore. So the smell of urine was freaking what? Everywhere. So it's a different culture, right? All right, so because Roman soldiers and administrators could not integrate with the Eastern conquered people, no kidding, in 40 BC, by example of Julius Caesar concerning the Germanic tribesmen becoming soldiers and citizens, Emperor Augustus authorized the citizens of the Eastern conquered lands citizenship by what? Merit. The Bible's description of Cornelius as centurion of the band called the Italian designates that the legion stationed at Caesarea as Roman what? Citizens. According to Josephus, the Roman soldiers were Syrian. How'd they become Roman citizens then? That was that law. They had to what? Earn it. They had to be the bravest the most committed, the most dedicated, most fearless. And that's what Cornelius was. He earned his right. Okay. Okay, okay. And therefore, the Roman soldiers and citizens of the Gospels and Acts were Eastern men who had earned what? Citizenship. That's why the West stayed on the West and the East stayed on the East. That's why the empire was divided and it got worse and worse and worse as the two sides did not merge at all. All right, so this, this cohort, which is several legions, right, together, was headed by a legate, but was several centurions. So it's like this was the cohort of Eastern Roman civilized citizens, soldiers, and what? Administrators that stood and fought alongside the temple soldiers against the attacking Roman army of Vespasian in 69 AD. They protected the temple. When Vespasian's army came to loot the temple, remember I told you about that? They just destroyed. These are the ones that went like, no. And they they defended against the other Roman army. So Vespian, Vespasian's army came in and these guys went, no, you'll have to kill us to get to this. That's intense. And they all died to the last one. Now what happened to the Romans who did? What happened to Vespian, um, Vespasian? Well, he died. And we died of? 70 AD, when Mount Vesuvius blew, all the people that had conquered Jerusalem, taken the temple, taken the money, all died. Vespasian died from the thing he hated the worst, diarrhea. All he could hold, he just can't, he couldn't hold it. He died a very miserable death. Herod, same way, with worms. So all these people died terrible, terrible dress. What happened? The ones in Vesuvius, when it blew, those people were, were Pompeii. They were, they were burned alive from the inside out. The vapors they breathed were extremely sulfuric and extremely hot, thousands of degrees. They breathed and it burned their lungs. And they were burned from the inside out. So they got, vengeance is mine, what? I will what? <laughs> Repay. And every last one of them, if they were part of that, within nine years, they were all dead. A terrible way to die. All right. So serving God is all that these people were, and they rose to a position. How many want to, want to just get by in life? How many want to excel and be top dog? Be the best in everything. You've got to serve who? God. You present what you do to God every day. God, how did I do? And then God, you know, seek what? Reproof and what? Correction. How can you do better? Every day you go to God at the end of the day. Or how did I do? 
review it. How can you do better? All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for what? All right, everybody, I'll say it all together now. All together now. All right, here we go. All scripture, how many? All. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for what? Doctrine. Doctrine. That which is the standard, the rule. For what? Reproof. For what? Correction. And that is for instruction being right with who? God. All right, so let's try the other side. Luke 4.4, 4, and Jesus answered him, saying, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone. Your special desires each day of what you want. You have to see yourself way further than where you are. Where are you going to be 10 years from now? What kind of person are you going to be? What are you going to have? Focus on it. Go to God to how it to be done and how to do it right. That man shall not live by bread alone, but by what? Every word of God. Why? Because the word of God gives you what? Doctrine, reproof, and what? Correction. If you haven't got to, well, who are you going to run to? <laughs> to get reproof and what? Correction. The word. That's, you know, who do you think I went to? The word. <laughs> what does the word say? Then I had to investigate it. I had to research it. What exactly, how come it doesn't work? One of the things that were fascinating is that I would read it in the Word and I would try and do it. And it wouldn't work. And I was like, what is this? Here Peter walks in there and he talks to Cornelius and his whole, his whole household, that's his slaves, to everybody, they all bow down to him. I'm like, wow! So I start teaching the Word. Nobody bowed down to me. Nobody treated me with any respect. I'm like, I said, this, the Bible's a joke. There's something wrong here. If this is true, then I've got to, so what happened? I taught in Hawaii. I taught in California. I taught in Los Angeles. I taught in Texas. I taught anywhere I could because I wanted the results that I saw in the Bible. Something was wrong. Either it was me or I'm not doing it right. I went to Guam. Same problem. Nobody, everybody, that's nice. Okay. I went to the Philippines, got some reaction. But boy, when I hit Malaysia, there was 40 people there, about 40. And as I was teaching, after I started, after I finished teaching, they all put their heads to the ground. I was like, whoa, there it is. There it is. It happened. What was the problem? I was teaching the wrong what? Culture. Luke 4, 8. Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him what? Only. Does it say you can't worship messengers? No. Does it say you can't worship family? No. Does it say you can't worship those in authority? Nope. Does it say you can't work? No. It says you can, but you only serve who? Because the Bible states all five categories, which I gave you. That is the true way of life. Are there any questions at this point? Anything that didn't make sense? Anything that was simple to understand? Anything complex? Any, any ahas? Anything ahas at this point? Um, when you're talking about the history and Cornelius and his band, they weren't Romans. No. They were of the Eastern culture, and because they were committed and didn't have the, the Roman service, which, you know, they don't care about the law, they were exalted because of their heart, soul, and mind, and they were put in the highest position. Do you know how some of those who were trained in the East, how high they got? Senators and even emperor. Marcus Aurelius was trained by the East. That's the culture the Bible's written from. He became the emperor. 
the best emperor ever. So you understand, when we do it God's way, serving God, we become what? Extraordinary. But you've got to keep that what? You've got to have that what? Commitment. Anything else? Anything else that was a blessing? Does everybody understand what service? Now, how many didn't know what service was? You knew or you didn't? Now you know. Does that make sense? So when someone hires you, they're hiring you to have their reality, their perspective, and you have to have their value systems and have their, and act in the identity they gave you. That's all you got to do. Is that what we do? Uh, no. So what we're going to do here is something really strange. We're going to, how many got a piece of paper in front of you? Okay, good, good, good. All your paper has lines on it, right? Good. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to do, we're going to do the item, I-T-E-M, right? Then we draw a line, right? And then we're going to have the next word will be um, t uh, money. Next one, you draw your line. And then we're going to say effort. Draw a line. And then we're going to say time. Okay? So we have money, effort, what? Time. All right. So let's consider your lives, right? We can consider my life, but we're going to use your life. Now, you're not, I want you to be honest here. So I'm, I'm not going to have you pass these in after you're done. This is strictly for you to sit back and really examine. So don't worry about this. Be, this is yours, right? All right, yours. All right, so now we draw a line across here. Those are our titles. So the first thing, let's look at your money. How much, the, how much money do you get? So we're going to look at how much... How much you get paid? You all know how much you get paid? Yeah. Right? All right, let's, what do you get paid in a month? All right? All right? So, so we're going to sit back there and sit there and list an item. And the first item we're going to list is rent. Okay? Rent. How much of your money, what percentage of your money goes for rent? Your car payment? Your registration, your registration and it's your insurance, gas. repairs, gas, oil. How much are we talking about? Isn't this fascinating? All right. <laughs> so, are we missing anything? We got, oh, entertainment. We go and we buy music. How many bought music? Anyone bought music? Yeah. Download music? Play music? Ah, oh, and how long is that? But she's listening to music, right? <laughs> <laughs> ah, I don't know about this, all right? All right. So, so, so entertainment. Right. What's it? All right. So, you, that's entertainment. To pay 20 bucks and do absolutely nothing. Right? Now, what it is? You want music? You don't learn a music instrument. You just play it. Listen to it. All right. So, I would say 5%. 5%? Okay, we'll do fibers all the way across, okay? And time, 5% five. Five of your time, okay? Let's make it easy. 20, another 20%? How many are paying 20% for utilities? Water, electricity? 15 it is, okay? Water, gas, electric, and trash. They come and pick up the trash. You got to pay for that too. Living is expensive, yes. What's the alternative? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Greek and Roman slavery. Now, we're not, the reason I don't bring up children because children require a heck of a lot more than pets do. So you have the children take care of the pets. <laughs> All right. But time, you better spend about 10% of your time with them. Or else you're going to wind up with them. Really, they'll tear stuff up. They'll make everything miserable. How, how much more? How much? Anything else we can spend money on? 
All right? So now, why do we do this? Because this is what is real to us. Is rent real? Yes. Is food real? Yes. Is your cell phone real? Yes. Is your transportation in your car real? Absolutely. Is entertainment real? You can't survive with that entertainment. Are the utilities real? You know electricity? No. If you're missing it, you're going to know it, like, real quick. All right? Is clothes real? Uh, yeah. All right? Pets, are they real? Yeah, they are. Right? So these are real. So when someone says, can you, can you give to save the whales? No, I got enough problems with my own pets. Right? People pay for their pet sitters. Right, they come in, they, they sit on your pet for you. Okay, no, I'm joking. They, don't, they, just, they, they act like you would to the dog or the cat. Yeah, sure they do. I know. All right, so is this pretty accurate? We only spend money, effort, and time on that which is real to us. Yes or no? Yes. We don't spend money on anything else that's not real. Right? Okay. So let's find out what our totals are. I'm pretty intense. Where's God on here? Why? Why can't you fit God in there? You're too busy. God cannot fit in this. I want to serve God. You can't. You're already filled up. And every single paycheck, you're spending more than you're making. Oh, that's right. 135%. Thank you. 135%. If you're spending 135% of your paycheck, what's left? You owe. You owe. And they're always going into more and more what? Debt. Welcome to slavery. The reason we do these is because these are real to us. The question is, where's God? He's not real. He's not real to us. So we never get a chance to see the benefits of God because we've got no time. We've got no, all, all our effort is used up and we have no finances. I put God first. Understand that's just mentioning, well, praise the Lord. That's just what? That's just, you know, you might as well blow a kiss. Right, you get taxed. Everything you do gets taxed. So not only do they take your income, they add more tax on top of that. And then the only thing I didn't mention here was credit cards. We don't have anything for savings. Nobody has anything for savings. Are you a slave or are you the master? Ooh, good question. So how can you serve God? You don't. No time, no effort, no finances. Something has to go. Not my entertainment, my... my I got to keep my... What do they call it? My... My Netflix. I got to have my... Amazon. I got... Ah, all right, so what's left? Your decision. So I hope that blessed you. No, oh, Frank, it pissed me off. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not a slave to nobody. Yes, you are to the banks. Look at those beautiful buildings. Somebody pay for those. All right, so let's take a break.